up guys, it's Angie Jenna, I'm back with a video. This is going to be a Hofstra show recap and two TTMs. Uh, I'm really not that happy with what I got at Hofstra. I mean, it was great and really great experience being there, a lot of good stuff. But I really didn't uh, get that much. And what I what I did get was pretty cool, but I, I just wish I would have gotten some more. But anyways, first two TTMs. First I got 101 in about a month. Uh, two two, sorry, from uh, Buck Martinez. He signed the index card and the Rackers card. So that's pretty cool. And 101, this is an almost impossible TTM to get. I did the trick with him and it did work from Red Shane Dienst. So he signed on the 1990 Tops manager card. So that's really nice for the Hall of Fame and 90 Tops PC. Uh, would you say PCs? Or not PCs, collections, I guess. So that's cool. All right, now some pickups. I bought the hobby box of this year's Bowman. I didn't get Chrome. It was a little extra, and there was less cards. But these ones came with some Chrome cards. So I'll just show off a couple of them for the base cards. Well, really, they're just base cards. A whole bunch of they're really nice. I really like this year's uh, design. But the one notable one I got, I guess you could say, was the U Darvish rookie card. I really like the design this year. They're really sleek. Um, yeah, it's really, <clears throat> can't really say much about them. They're just really nice cards. So I got that, and I got a whole bunch of chrome cards, just a whole stack of them. So I, those are really cool, and I got a bunch of gold cards. I'll show the inserts, I guess. Well, first the autograph was a on a chrome. It's Nick Delmonico. I think he's like a prospect or something for the Orioles. So I, I think I've actually heard of him before. I think he's supposed to be decently good. So maybe that'll be worth something one one day. I got a blue refractor of Francisco Lindor. And then I got a bunch of inserts: Jacoby Ellsbury, Joe Benson, Billy Hamilton. Uh, Evan Longoria and Jerkson Profar. That one's pretty cool. He had a really great time with the Rangers. Got two black borders of Tim Hudson, Roy Halladay, blue border Tim Hudson, and orange border Adam Wainwright. I think this is I think this is called an X Fractor. I'm not sure about that, but it's Josh Bowman. And I'm not sure about this one. I haven't seen the base cards with the flag behind them. But, so I thought that was pretty cool. Alright, those are those. <clears throat> okay, I'll put those away. Some, I also picked up, they had unopened packs of uh, 84 tops, I think these are. So I picked up one of those. These are really nice cards. I think I should have picked up more to try and get the set. But So these are really nice looking cards. Let me put those over there. Get rid of those. Alright, yeah, so that's pretty cool, that's that, uh, a few more cards I got, this guy was having a sale, you bought three cards, and he threw in this Derek Jeter rookie chrome card, so I got that, I bought this Paul O'Neill dual jersey card, is that, no, that's cool, but this really cool dual jersey card, uh, numbered 58 and 99. This is out of 2011 tops. So that's nice. I got this Dave Kingman Yankee Signature Series. I've only bought it because he was a Met and he was really good with the Mets. And I bought this dual signed uh, Casey Kochman and Keith Hernandez certified autos. So those are all cool. Uh, two more. I bought this. They're both out of this year's Triple Threads. Um, for the Mets PC, this is a Josh Tolley game used. Let me get out of the case. Josh Tolley game used jersey auto card. Let me get out of this one too. Numbered thirty nine seventy five. So that's. Cool, really thick, nice thick cards. Triple threads are just way too overpriced in my mind, so I just try and buy these single cards. 
one I can go in. And now this one is also out of triple threads. Game use jersey and certified auto of Doc Gooden. Really a nice signature there. I already have them on a ball and a picture, but that was also really cool to get that in. Well, to buy that. And I got them for a pretty good deal. Alright, now the two balls. They were both signing there. Uh, and I got them certified by JSA. They had a little sale when you got them in person. They got a COA. First one's Ozzie Smith with the Hall of Fame 02 inscription. Really nice guy. We had a nice conversation. Really cool. Uh, he really he didn't have a line at all when I was there either. So I just walked right up to him. We started talking. So that was him. The next one, I guess you could say, is kind of bittersweet. I don't know if that would be the word, because uh, he. Well, first of all, it's Ernie Banks. He signed it there, and then do the H O F seventy seven. Only thing is, he used a sharpie pen. Now. I know it is the it's like cr a criminal action in the community to use a sharpie to sign a ball. That's exactly what he did, but it was a pen. I don't know, maybe if that'll help save it. I didn't want to tell him to use the pen because well he's Ernie Banks and he was one of the nicest not even players, one of the nicest people I've ever met in my life and we just had like a really long conversation. He's such a great guy. He signed it in a Sharpie, though, so I'm kind of pissed about that, but I'm just going to pray and hope that it stays nice, because it does look really good, so I'm just going to really hope, and those are both on Major League Baseball, it's picked up there, both certified, so just pray, keep me in your prayers, guys, I hope that ball stays nice, um, also picked up a whole bunch of 8x10s. If you remember at White Plains, I got a bunch, and the guy who sold them to me then was also at this show. But uh, first, let me move that. First, I also met Rusty Staub, and I got him to sign this uh, 8x10. It sounded really nice and big on this mess picture, photo file picture. So that's really nice. Um, next one is... Now, I've been wanting... Something signed by him for a really long time. I was very upset when he died, of course, along with the entire Mets com uh, community. So I saw this was pretty cheap. I just knew I had to have it. It was Gary Carter. I picked up that nice signed 8x10 8 8 by with the Hall of Fame 2003. That's on a photo file. Next one. Now, this is the ones I got if you uh, spent. Well, they were 10 bucks each, so if you bought three, you got one free. So I got this Joe Pepitone. Why did I put this down? Joe Pepitone. Tommy John. Oh, these are all Yankees. I just realized that. Uh, Bob Turley. He signed a bullet Bob Turley right there. So that's pretty cool. And the, the coolest one, I think, is this Mickey Rivers. It's authenticated by JSA. So it's on this picture. And he signed it in silver right there with the 7 7 and 78 World Series champs. And I think anything really looks really sleek in silver, so that's very nice. Alright, guys, that's my video for today. I tell, Let me know uh, what, how you think I did. So that's my video. I'll say it again. I'll see you guys on Monday.